Hey YouTube! I was just coming on here to give you guys an update on what's going on with us and the baby, um, you know, what our plans were to lay her to rest. Uh, we did have her candlelight Saturday and it was beautiful. I uploaded a video with my kids um, reading their letter to their baby sister and I also read a letter to the baby but that was from my sister uh, I thought it would be less emotional to read my sister's letter um, but it wasn't and my sister read our baby's letter um, from m myself and my husband and um, it wasn't any less emotional it was still very emotional but it was also very beautiful and I was very happy that we got to um, just show Anaya how much she is loved and missed and we also released some balloons for her and they all flew in the same direction which was just beautiful to watch and it did take some photos so I will be doing like a memorial video or something um, with the photos that we took and there's some really good photos and it looks very beautiful and I'm glad I have those memories um, so anyhow I'm gonna tell you guys that we are having Anaya cremated and um, we still do not have her and I am almost six weeks postpartum on um, on Tuesday so um, she her death certificate has been they didn't issue her a birth certificate because of her age and she was one day shy of 20 weeks if she would have been one pound they would have issued her a birth certificate but because she was only 10 pounds two ounces they did not um, issue her a birth certificate but she does have a legal death certificate and it does have her name so we did get to name her and I was very excited about that because I want to be able to just know that she is somebody you know that paperwork even though she's somebody to us I mean that paperwork it kinda just means something and so we did get to name her legally and um, her death certificate has been signed by the doctor so they are going to cremate her and they have her on a list to uh, cremate her so I mean it should be any today or tomorrow we should have her by by then um, the reason why we picked cremation was because um, I mean I feel like we're all gonna pass away one day and when I pass away I want my baby to be buried with me so you can get the um, put her like in an urn um, and have her put whatever she's in um, they can put that inside my casket when I die one day so that's what uh, we chose and um, what else um, I have some notes here so um, just thank you ladies and everyone who lit a candle for Anaya on Saturday um, just thank you guys so much I watched your videos cried with y'all um, I just love to close my eyes and listen to you guys sing um, and just fill that moment with you guys so thank you so much for doing that for our, our baby and I know some people still lit a candle um, and didn't make a video but that's fine I mean I, I just thank you guys and thank everyone f um, who done that for us so thank you or for your little baby too and um, also um, they did do lab work on Anaya and um, they didn't do the test that we wanted them to do. My doctor, my OB requested the test, but they cannot, they they weren't able to perform it. And um, the test was a skin sample of like um, somewhere near her umbilical cord. I'm not exactly sure, but I know it was like somewhere near her umbilical cord and like her belly button area. And um, also uh, take some blood from her from her actual umbilical cord and they were unable to perform that because of Anaya's um, umbilical cord was 
it had um, I think they had it had like three clots or several clots in it and they were unable to extract any blood from it so they they couldn't perform that test that we requested and they couldn't um, take a skin sample from that area either because it was um, too small or too damaged or something um, I think what she said it was too too um, too small like I guess they needed more tissue and they couldn't they couldn't use the tissue that she had they didn't do a full autopsy they did just like their own little workup I guess um, but I know they did determine that she was indeed a female so I think they they looked at her organs and um, they looked at her heart her you know all, I guess all the organs that she had inside and everything looked perfect for her age and um, so we didn't get a real reason why she passed away um, the doctor that delivered her she was delivered in her sack um, but they didn't take any of the fluid from her sack to try to test that so I guess they didn't know or they just didn't do it I don't know but I know they could have had um, removed I mean got some of the the fluid out to test it for they want to test for chromosomes and um, my doctor today I went and saw her and she said I asked her if a chromosomal problem would be an issue at this age like at her age because I thought if it was chromosomal she would have passed um, long before then so um, they're doing they're gonna schedule me Friday I'm gonna go in for like um, I guess like a workup they're going to take different types of blood samples from me not different types but well I guess like different kind of the same blood samples but they're taking several um, different tubes or something um, to test for different um, things and they she wants to test me for a clotting disorder because they did find in her placenta that um, her, she had a bleed in the placenta but they couldn't determine if it was before she, like what caused her to, to pass or um, if it's just something that happened because of her you know being passed away uh, it can happen on its own when when they pass away inside of you so um yeah and I'm sorry I'm saying um a lot <laughs> uh, I'm trying to think what else so the doctor that delivered her she called me because I wanted a specific reason why they couldn't perform the test the genetics counselor is the one who called me and she gave me some of the information but she couldn't tell me why exactly they couldn't perform the test that we requested so they had the doctor call me that deliver the baby she gave me her personal opinion she gave me like the information from the lab work as well but she gave me her personal opinion that the baby's umbilical cord was too thin and I don't know if it was too thin for her age I didn't ask her um, but she did she thought that the baby wasn't getting enough oxygen from the cord that she had so um, I think maybe that's probably what caused her to pass away. It kind of sounds like it. Um, she had twist in her umbilical cord is what they said as well. So uh, I think that's probably what had happened was that she wasn't getting enough oxygen. So yeah. And so anyhow, I have that doctor's appointment on Friday. And I guess I'll give you guys an update later on about what they exactly test me for because I know they're going to test me test my chromosomes as well um, I asked several questions I asked about um, scar tissue in my uterus I asked about um, having that IUD what could I have changed from having my son seven years ago to now like my body you know things change I asked about my luteal phase I asked about just all kinds of things that you guys um, you know you guys tell me and things that I've learned from the TTC community and I also asked her about taking baby aspirin I wasn't really sure why people take it I know it has something to do with either blood being too thin or blood clotting I'm not sure but she's testing me for that as well so um, I guess we'll have more answers and I'm just glad that she is going that she's being a good doctor and that she is trying to help us find a reason and 
trying to put my mind at ease that I am healthy and that I can actually have a baby again. So I guess that's it you guys. Um, thank you so much for watching and feel free to leave your comments. Also if you know of any tests that I could ask for, uh, leave that down below as well so that I can you know try and get as much things done as I possibly can um, to figure out what is going on. So I guess that's it you guys. I'll talk to you soon.